Praise the Lord, church. We're going to go ahead and enter into this time of praise and worship. Let's all stand to our feet and let's just entertain the presence of the Lord today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I worship and I praise you today. I give you glory and honor. I magnify you as King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the Lord, all my soul and all that is within me. I bless and I worship your holy name. Uh, Lord, you are worthy today to be praised. Uh, Lord, we glorify you right now. We exalt you right now, Lord God, uh, for you are the King of kings. Uh, we praise you today, Lord Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. Uh, your praise will continually be in my mouth. Uh, Lord, I worship you today, O oh God. Uh, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving, uh, into your courts with praise. Uh, we exalt and worship you today. We bless your holy name. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to thy name, Lord. Uh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, O oh Lord, for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, we exalt you and lift you up, Jesus, for there's none like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I praise you today. Uh, Lord, we worship you, O oh God, uh, for you are the great creator of all mankind. Uh, we praise you, O oh God, uh, for the very creation uh, expresses your handiwork, Lord. Uh, oh, we exalt you and lift you up, uh, for you are our deliverer. You're our shield and buckler, Lord. Uh, you're the ever-present help in a time of trouble. Uh, so we worship and exalt you this morning. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, we bless you, Lord God. Uh, thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy. It's new every morning. Uh, oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, uh, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name, Lord. Uh, I worship you. I exalt you. I praise you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, Lord, we know that you are able to do so you need abundantly above all that we ask or think uh, according to the power that worketh in us. Uh, oh, we exalt your name right now. Uh, we lift you up. Uh, for you said if you are high and lifted up, you draw men unto you. Uh, so we lift you up today. Uh, no flesh is going to glory in your presence, uh, Lord God. So we set ourselves aside. Uh, we put ourselves aside, Lord. Uh, so when people look at us, they see you. Uh, they see you high and lifted up, uh, Lord God, for you are able, Lord. Uh, we know, Lord God, uh, that you have all power in heaven and earth, uh, and we praise you today, Lord. We worship your name. Hallelujah, Lord. You are the healer. You are the God that heals, uh, for by your stripes we are healed, Lord, and we are so thankful that you died on a cross and shed your blood. Uh, for we can have healing in that blood today. There's power in that blood. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's salvation in that blood today. We worship your name, Jesus. Oh, glory to your name. We bless you right now. We worship you, O oh Lord. We raise our hands and exalt you and praise you, Lord, for you are mighty. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, have your way in this service right now. Uh, open the windows of heaven and let your spirit pour out upon us. Uh, touch us, oh God. Uh, touch our hearts, our minds, our lives today. Uh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Most High. We exalt you, Jesus. Uh, we praise you today, Lord. Uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I pray today, Lord, uh, that you would just touch our hearts and our minds. Uh, oh, prepare us today, Lord, uh, to receive from you. Uh, oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, we bless your name, Lord. Uh, we exalt you today. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you are able, Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. Father, we come into your house this morning to give you the glory, to bless you and to lift you up. Lord, we acknowledge you. 
let this be a house of prayer. Father, we thank you for your grace this morning. We thank you for your mercy this morning. We thank you, God, for your great name, for your presence among us, for the peace that we can feel, for the power of your love that surrounds us. Oh, God, there's nothing like your love in the world. Surround us, Lord, and saturate us with your love this morning. Let the love of God flow into our hearts. God, I pray that you would surround our hearts and our minds, God. Fill our souls with your presence today. We've come to worship you. We've come to bless you. There, you are the great God. There is no one like you. There is no other God like you. You are the truth. You are the way. You're the God that heals. You are the God that delivers. You're the God that breaks through. You're the God that delivers from bondage. You are the way and the truth. Lord, you shine the way, God. You show us the way that we need to take. You show us the things to do that are righteous in your eyes. And you're a helper to us. God, we call on you today. Father, we need you today. Release your power in this place. Let there be an outpouring of your spirit in this house this morning. Let your presence saturate, God, this room. And draw us. Draw us to the place where you can speak to us, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to hear what you're saying. I pray, God, that our hearts would be open to your word this morning. Let the light of your truth, Lord, shine into our darkness. Expose every work of the enemy. Break every work of the enemy, God. Destroy every work of the enemy, Father. Every shackle, every chain, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. Every hold of the enemy, let it be broken today. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance and breakthrough. I pray that you would speak to our hearts and minds. Help us to know you more, Lord God. Showcase your strength on our behalf. You're the one that we look to. You are our redeemer. You're the God that saves us. We look to you for strength. Father, you are our refuge. We choose to come to you, Lord God. And we choose to make you first. With you, all things are possible. Anything can happen because you're in this house today. Anything can happen because you're here today. Father, we believe in you. We're going to worship you. We're going to praise you. We're going to give you the glory. We're going to acknowledge your greatness in this place. We're going to act like we know who you are. We're going to act like we've had an experience with you before. You've never forsaken us. In our times of darkness, Lord, you were there with us. You helped us to prevail, oh God. You gave us strength, Lord, in our time of need. When we were weak, God, you empowered us, your own life. Thank you, Jesus. And we declare today that no weapon formed against us will prosper. We declare today that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. There is no strategy. There is no tactic of the enemy that's going to stop what you're doing. There's no plot, no plan against your people that's going to become fruitful. Send your angels, oh God, your ministering spirits that excel in strength and power. Send them, Lord, into the house of God. And let your flaming spirits minister to your people. I pray, Lord God, that heaven would release faith, hope, and love. Strength and power. Encouragement, Lord. Let victory come to your people. Hallelujah, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Come on, let's worship. Come on, let's praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give him the glory that he's worthy of. Let's act like he's already done what we need him to do. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy.
say so in the building this morning. If God has redeemed you, if God has delivered you, if God has saved you, would you say so? Would there be a shout in this sanctuary of those who have been redeemed by God? Welcome to church. Turn to the person beside you and say, I am so glad to see you in the house of God this Sunday morning. Turn to the other person and say, I know it may be a little crazy in here this morning, but we're going to give God praise for all that he has done. Today you are in the perfect place to receive a miracle from God. You are in the perfect atmosphere for God to turn your life around. And I know some of us, we may come here today and, you know, we're not going through a lot. And, but look back on your life and remember how God brought you out of some of the trials and the mess you used to be in. And you know what? There may be somebody on your row that feels like they can't make it another day. But it may be your praise and your worship that gives them the faith to keep pushing. So whether you're on the mountaintop or whether you're in the valley low, we need everybody in this place to have faith for God to do the miraculous. Whether you need a miracle or not. Now, if this is your first time here, you may be like, man, they're really excited here. Well, number one, we've got a reason to. Jesus has been good. And not only is he good, but he robed himself in flesh and he was crucified on a cross and they buried him in a tomb. But we've got good news. He did not stay there. He got up. And that's why we shout. That's why we pray. He has redeemed us. And this song we're sing, singing says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. There's a verse in the Bible, Psalm 100, and, in chapter Psalm, chapter 107 of Psalms. It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of of the enemy if you have been redeemed we have biblical instruction say so if God took you out of the hand of the enemy it may have been addiction it may, be, it may have been a bad family circumstance it may have been poverty but it doesn't matter what he brought you out of as long as he brought you out you have a responsibility to say so so before we go any further, would you lift up your hands and would you say so? Would you let God know you're thankful for his redeeming power? Come on, let's worship him.
Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord another shout of worship right now. He's a good God. He's merciful to us. Amen, amen. As you make your way back to your seats. My family just came back from an amazing trip to New York. We were in the Big Apple, and we had a chance to go to uh, an iconic restaurant called Cat's Deli, where they put more meat on it than really you should have on a sandwich. And uh, But you know how when you go to a Mexican restaurant, some you know, oftentimes you'll get chips and dip and salsa and stuff, right? But that's part of the experience. And at Cat's Deli, they don't do that. They bring out pickles to everybody, but that's part of the experience. And when I go to Texas Roadhouse, I love getting those rolls that they had because that's, that's part of the experience. And when I go to Olive Garden, I want to have some of those breadsticks because that's just part of the experience. And, uh, you know, that's how I see us giving the offering is that, you know, it's not enough for me to just give my 10% tithe. There's, there's more to the experience than just that. It's, it's, it's more than just expecting the blessing afterwards. When I come to give of the tithe and the offering, I want to give a 10% tithe. I want to give at least a 5% offering, but there's more than that. I'm going to give 100% of my commitments to missions and to keeping the dream alive and to any other commitments that I might have made to the Lord. I'm going to bring 100% of my gratitude and 100% of my thanksgiving and 100% of my worship and my praise and my adoration. I'm going to give 100% of everything that's within me in response to what He's done, and He's always given 100%. Can we practice that right now and give 100% worship as we begin the process of the offering? I'm going to give 100% of loyalty to him and faithfulness and unwavering commitment to the King of Kings. My offering worship experience is not complete until I've given and gotten all that there is to give and to get. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says to bring all the tithes into the storehouse, not a portion of it, not a little bit, but 100%. I have just believed that today we're going to give 100% offering worship at the Peninsula of Pentecostals. Maybe you didn't come prepared to give in the tithes of the offering, but I hope that you came prepared to worship. And I hope that you came prepared thinking back about all the good things that God's done for you. Does anybody in here have a worship in their heart to give to the Lord this morning? And as long as you came prepared to worship, maybe you want to have an offering. You can look with puppy dog eyes at the person to your left, right, in front of you or behind you and say, help me out. Give me something that I can give to the Lord. You know, when I go to that restaurant, I wanted my pickles. I wanted my breadsticks. But I also want my blessings. And he, the Lord, wants the tithe and the offering and the worship. So, oh Lord, we ask that you would bless the offering right now. Use it for the furthering of your kingdom. Convict us, O oh God, and put it within our hearts that this is a non-negotiable in our life. I will fight the good fight of faith, and I will put the Lord first in all of my ways. And I will begin my offering every time with a worship and with a, uh, with a song of thanksgiving. And that's what we're going to do right now, church. Let's worship him and thank him as you bring your offering to these fine gentlemen. Come on, let's bring our offering and let's give God all the praise and worship. And if you're at home, you can also give on the church app or website. Let's all worship the Lord 100% in the offering.
upcoming summer series, The God Built Life. You don't want to miss these great teachings every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. If you would like to have your child dedicated to the Lord, please contact me, Zaysha Whiting, as soon as possible so we can get your child on the schedule for the next baby dedication, which will be held on Sunday, September 25th during our Christian training service. The New Worshippers Care Ministry is excited to launch another session of the Abundant Life course on August 28th in the Church Activity Hall during the Christian Training Hour at 10 a.m. The Abundant Life course is a 12-lesson course that our church offers for any adult who is either new to the faith or new to this church. It equips them with apostolic doctrine, which is essential to grow in their relationship with God. So if you're an adult and you have yet to take this course and you want to be involved in ministry and you want to go deeper in your relationship with God, you're encouraged to attend on August 28th for the orientation. Please see myself or your connection group leader with any questions. As you know, we are a mission-minded church. We support missions financially and by praying for those on the mission field. So we would like to give everyone an opportunity to support our pastor and the team as they go on the mission field to Bangladesh by praying for them starting Monday, August 22nd through Wednesday, August the 24th at the church. The church will be open daily from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can come anytime during the day and pray and intercede for the pastor and the team for the crusade that souls will be saved and people will be delivered. Global Missions is cooking up something really yummy. Global Missions is excited to bring you Savor the Nations, an international celebration of food and culture, happening Sunday night, August 14th, after our celebration service. Scan the QR code or sign up in the foyer to let us know what international food, drink, or dessert you would like to bring. If you have any questions, you can see me, Stacey Chavis. Hey ladies, right here on August the 31st at 7 p.m., we will be having a dynamic net meeting with guest speaker Flo Shaw. You don't wanna miss what God is going to do. Please make every effort to attend. You will be blessed. We will see you there. Throughout the year, RSM has some amazing events. One of them is Illuminate Conference. And this year, on August 19th and 20th, Illuminate Conference is back. And we are so excited. We're pumped for it. This year, our theme is at hand. It's based off of the scripture in Romans chapter 13, where Paul says, The night is far spent. Night represents darkness, wickedness, and evil. And we can all agree that evil is running rampant, and I guess you could say it's far spent. He goes on to say that the day is at hand. In other words, darkness has had its turn. Now it's time for the day to show up. And me and you, we are the children of the light. We are the children of the day. And that's our message at Illuminate Conference, that it's time to push darkness back and it's time to manifest the day. Paul goes on to say to throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. This is spiritual warfare. And that is what we're gonna be encouraging every young person and every young adult to manifest in their own life is to throw off the works of darkness, put on the armor of light and manifest God's kingdom everywhere that they go as they enter into their school year. Again, it's on August 19th and 20th. It's for students and for young adults. But hey, I have good news. It's for you too. Everybody here at TPP, we want you to join us. For students and for hyphen, it's $25 if you register online. At the door, it will be $30. But if you're 30 and over, we give you a good discount. It's only $5 for all adults 30 years old and over. We want you to come and support the Luminate Conference. So, so mark your calendars, put it on your schedule, be here for service. That Friday will be starting at 7 o'clock. So be here, support, and we have, listen y'all, it's going to be an amazing time because we have the ministry of both Brother James Wilson who will be leading us into worship and also speaking, but also we have Brother Matt Tuttle from Texas and he's going to preach the house down. In regards to t-shirts, you may know that at Illuminate Conference, we have some really nice shirts that we always make every year. And this year will be no different. We already have them made. They look really, really cool. And they'll be here at Illuminate Conference for pickup. So you want to go ahead and pre-order your shirt like 
today because they may run out. So go online, order your shirt so that it's secure and waiting for you on Friday of Illuminate Conference. There will only be a few for sale in person on site if you hadn't pre-ordered. So pre-order your shirt. Students, get your shirts. Church, get your shirts. Make sure you have one. They look really cool. And you can kind of help preach the gospel while you're wearing your t-shirt. It's really cool. So we are looking forward to having a great time in Jesus again on August 19th and 20th. Go ahead and register now online. We'll have a link for you that you can go to and register. We look forward to seeing you at Illuminate Conference.
Come on, if you need a miracle, raise your hands right now and praise him. If you need a miracle, praise him right now. If you need the Holy Ghost, praise him right now. If you need a breakthrough, praise him right now. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. Woo. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Huh? Come on, Gibbs. Get your body by the hand and bring him up here. Huh? If you need a deliverance, huh? I want you to take him by the hand and say, come on, huh? let's go huh? and praise the Lord together. Huh? Will you find somebody right now? Huh? Will you find somebody right now? Huh? Will you find somebody and bring him to the altar? Huh? Come on, y'all stare at me like a deer in the headlights. Huh? Hallelujah, bring somebody that needs a breakthrough. Huh? Come on, bring somebody that needs a miracle. Huh? Come on, bring somebody that needs a breakthrough. Huh? Don't be looking at your watch. Huh? Hallelujah, just come up here. Hallelujah. Come on, move up, move up, move up. Come on, hallelujah. If somebody needs a miracle, why don't you bring him up here? If somebody needs a deliverance, we're going to pray right now because the presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Hallelujah. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak restoration. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. I speak increase right now. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Reach for God right now. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this house. Hallelujah. Come on. If you've been down in the mully grub, just praise him. If you've been depressed, uh, fearful, just praise him. Uh, God is going to deliver. Uh, he's a delivering God. Uh, he's a saving God. Uh, he's a healing God. Uh, hallelujah. If you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost, uh, right now receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, Receive it in the name of Jesus. Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we shall trust in the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Mama, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is in this place. It's time for a miracle. It's time for a deliverance. It's time for a breakthrough. Hallelujah, move up, move up, move up, move up. Move up, hallelujah. right now be healed hallelujah come on break that yoke off your neck break that yoke off your neck hallelujah come on hallelujah hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, pray for somebody that needs a breakthrough. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. If you need the Holy Ghost, come up here. 
We'll pray for you. My Lord God is in this house. Hallelujah, the power of God is in this place. Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, my Lord, my Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody woke up. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are receiving the Holy Ghost. People are being delivered. People are being set free. Strongholds are coming down. Hallelujah. Strongholds are coming down. Hallelujah. Yokes are being destroyed. People are being, being healed in their bodies, in their minds, in their spirits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. God is in this house. I wouldn't leave here until I had my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of deliverance.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, glory be to God. God is still moving, God is still moving. Miss yet. God is still moving. Why don't we stand to our feet right now and let's give the Lord some praise for the refreshment, the refreshment of His Spirit. Come on, let's give God some thanksgiving. For the refreshment of the spirit i thank you for the refreshing for these are times of refreshing from the presence of the lord these are times of refreshment from the presence of the lord hallelujah praise god those that are praying continue to pray hallelujah for those of you that are our guests today this is not very normal, but when you come into an apostolic church, anything can happen. We're not normal when we're apostolics. Anything can happen. My message today was the times of refreshment. I didn't need to preach it. It was already here. We receive, anybody receive the refreshment of the Holy Spirit? Anybody got refreshed in the Holy Ghost? It was already done. Hallelujah. It was already here. Praise God. Amen. For those of you, and I, 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 to be honest, I'm a stickler for preaching the Word of God. But I fell in the Holy Ghost just to allow God just to refresh us. Come on, we don't have an agenda. When the Holy Ghost wants to do something, our agenda goes out the door. And we say, come on, God, do what you need to do. This is his church. He's the great shepherd of this church. And he can do whatever he wants to do. Hallelujah. And if you want to hear the word, come tonight. Come tonight. Come tonight. Part two of my message from last Sunday night. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it tonight, part two. Amen, part two. Last Sunday night, in the middle of my preaching, God said, that's enough. And then this place went up in Holy Ghost smoke. It was Holy Ghost pandemonium around here last Sunday night. Tonight, we're going to finish that message. Because I don't like to start something and not finish it. But I feel prompted of the Holy Ghost to finish what we started. Amen. Hallelujah. And y'all get to go home a little early. I knew it was going to be some type of service because our computer went bad. Our air conditioning went bad. But God is still good. Devil, you can't stop us. You can't stop an apostolic church. Even if the lights were shut, shut down, we're still going to praise Him. We're still going to give Him glory. Because the Lord's been good. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Everybody
Everything was working good last night. Oh, last night. I don't know what happened, but devil, hallelujah, we still had church. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five and tell them the presence of the Lord is here. But can I tell you, the presence of the Lord can go with you. You can have a little church in your car. You can have a little church when you get home. He's not confined to this building. Praise God. Amen. Love you all. To our guests, we would apologize, but we're not. Because we, we can't apologize for what God does. All right? But anyway, we'll hope to see you tonight or next Sunday morning. Amen. I want to give you a personal invitation to be back with us next Sunday morning. Amen. Now, uh, this week begins our Youth Illuminate Conference and I encourage you to be here on Friday uh, to hear Brother Matt Tuttle. And then also uh, um, on Sunday, amen, Sunday, uh, Brother Wilson, uh, James Wilson will be helping us with the music and also will be speaking Sunday night. You don't want to miss that. Amen. You don't want to miss that. So we've got an exciting week coming. Man, praise the name of the Lord. Love you all. Thank you so very much for allowing the Holy Ghost to move when he wants to move. Amen. Those that are praying, continue to pray. Hallelujah. You're dismissed in the name of the Lord. Love one another. Greet all of our guests that are with us. Brother Melendez, so good to have you with us, man. Good to have you with us. Hallelujah. You're dismissed in the name of the Lord.